Welcome fellow Transformers fans, collectors, and those curious of Transformers toys. Today on this Transformers Tuesday, we have Shattered Glass Grimlock from the Transformers Shattered Glass subline. He comes in his Trypticon coloration, color scheme. On the back, there's a little bio here. He's a little different than our regular Grimlock. His bio says he's been created in a Decepticon lab. Grimlock was deactivated due to his violent tendencies. He was stolen by the Autobots and quickly became their most powerful warrior. Keep in mind, Shattered Glass is an alternate universe where the good guys are the Decepticons and the bad guys are the Autobots. So basically everyone's personality is polar opposite. Um, one would expect Grimlock to be not as violent in the Shattered Glass world, but I guess he is. He is just as violent and crazy and nuts. So there we have Grimlock, they played down his uh, color scheme here. On all the uh, artworks, it's kind of played down. He's definitely in Trypticon's color scheme. Um, you can see it better here on the back. Uh, logo up top there, legal on the bottom, legal on the bottom here, product shots here. If you haven't realized that already. And then we can touch Grimlock because he's plastic free packaging. All right, let's get to opening up this box. We'll go in from the bottom. Yeah, the box came a little beat up. I'm expecting him to be exactly the same as the uh, Studio Series uh, 86 movie Grimlock. Just, you know, more evil. All right, so what we got here, we got some instructions. Uh, these are the Shattered Glass coloration instructions. All the Shattered Glass instructions come in this color. I don't think we're going to need those. We don't need this. This is garbage. That is just some extra paper they throw in there because they want to waste paper. I don't know. We can freak Grimlock right here. He's in upright robot mode. Um, this is a newish blade, so I must be careful not to cut Grimmy. Grimmy, Grimlock. And this, uh, well, this third installment of Shattered Glass does not come with comic books. Uh, because right now, I don't think anything's been announced. But there is no, uh, no one has a license right now for the, for the comics. IDW no longer has it. Um, there's been plenty of rumors going around. The last one I heard was Marvel. So here's his double blaster, blaster, double blaster gun. He comes with no, you know, evil wheelie, thankfully. Um, but at the same time, that means he's one less accessory and five bucks more than the initial uh, studio series release. Let's have a look at his robot mode, articulation wise. Nice ratchets there, nice ratchets there. He can look up and down sideways uh he can kick backward and forward as he is a uh i don't remember that being an autobot symbol art in there that might actually be retooling that might be retooling i didn't really notice that um but yeah orange purple gray turquoise and it's less silver, it's more gray. It's straight up Trypticon coloration. All right, let's see if I can, uh, and then it's white. That's a little off putting. That should have been more silver, I think. All right, let's uh, transform Grimlock. He transforms pretty much the same as any other Grimlock toy. Uh, hand folds in. Those up and fold in. Well, uh, do we have some light on here? Do we have some light on here? All right. Just comes out. Head goat folds down. Chest forms. Guess what the chest forms? If you guessed, uh, the chest forms his crotch, you guessed right. It's been a little while since so I transformed that one, so let's 
tail folds out there. Pulls down. Those at home can laugh. As I figure out what I'm doing wrong. Oh, yeah, I guess I wasn't supposed to do that. And then that just, there we go. Or no? Don't tell me that folds. No, that is how the tail is supposed to go. I know how the tail is supposed to go. off there. Be careful with that. Can that pop back on? Yes, it can. Okay, good. All right. The tail goes that way. So far, so bad. Next up, that folds down. That folds out. Folds out, tail folds up. All right, that folds up. Gotta get it to bend down there at that angle. I hope no one's using this as a uh, transformation video. Yeah, let's uh, let's do that and make sure I have this in right. There we go. Line that all up. Clunk, clunk, clunk. And we have a gap. Why do we have a gap? Oh no, we don't have a gap. So that does form a scrunch. Check. That goes down. That comes down. I don't know why I waited so long to put his arms down, but his arms come down. His head came down apparently while I was messing around with it. And there he is. Shattered glass Grimlock. So There's lots of articulation here on his dino arms. Wish there was a little bit more, but there we go. He's in his Crypticon color scheme. Most of the transformation takes place in the tail, as you saw. But it's actually a very simple transformation. His jaw is articulated. His head, oops, his head can go up and down. If we want him more realistic T-Rex, we can pose him like this. He has a very large uh, tail, because that's supposed to be all tail. One of the awkward things about this this mold is that tail. Um, it's a neat coloration scheme. I wish this was silver, not gray. And of course, the gun here we can store on the back. There it is. There's two pegs here. And there are two pegs right in there. Right in there. So you can store the back. Like so. There we go. Like so. Although, since he's supposed to like no trip on, it would have been better for him to like have a would have been better for him to have like a the gun facing like this way or coming out of his mouth 
it is what it is. So there he is. Thank you for watching me uh, transform him poorly. But there's Grimlock, his gun, and his uh, instructions. And that's what's in today's box. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you didn't, let me know what I can do to do better in the comments below. Um, and as always, please uh, subscribe and thank you for watching.